So I got me in a new camera today. This one's by Tong Bio. This is a PTZ camera. Got it to use it for Zoom meetings as well as doing live streams. But we're going to get it opened up and see what's in the box. And then we're going to get it hooked up and see how well it works. Have our user manual right here on the top. That is good because I'll probably be using that. Small box here. I don't know what we have in here. Ah, we have our remote control. We have our USB 3.0 cable. Have another box over here. Let's see what's in it. And we have our power supply cord. Some mounting hardware. I guess this is if you wanted to mount it on a wall or onto a table or something. And I bet we have the camera itself because it is wrapped up in styrofoam. Ooh, fancy looking. Look at there. Has rubber lens covers. Keep the dust off of your lens. Oh, that oh. You can feel little bearings in there. That is cool. F5.76 to 46.9 millimeters and F1.8 to 2.6. So that should do pretty good and indoors. Very nice. Oh, that is nice. Check that out. Okay, looking at the front of it, of course, we have our lens. We have our power indicator, our tilt and pan indicator, and our standby indicator. These will light up once we get it powered up. Looking at the back here, we have our power plug. We have a RS-485 plug, RS-232 plug, our USB port, and an HDMI port. Looking at the remote, it has power, camera select key, a position key, a brightness adjustment, screen freeze, mirror, up, down, PTZ control, return and exit, menu, zoom slow, zoom fast, left and right, uh, backlight on and off, PTZ reset, and a focus key. So it's a very multiple functioning remote. And the instructions go into more details about mounting it, different settings. Very useful information. Lots of information if you need it. We're going to get it hooked up and see how well the picture is. That's our main priority right there. So I was getting ready to hook this up over here on the computer and I was wondering where I was going to mount it, but I flipped it over and on the bottom it has a quarter inch standard fitting right there. So you'd be able to mount this on whatever apparatus you have or like a tripod or whatever. That will uh, eliminate me trying to figure out where I'm going to put it because now I know exactly where I'm going to put it. Okay, I got the USB cord ran. Now I'm going to get the power plugged in and we'll see what happens. Looks like it is going to do a self check calibration. That's cool. You can barely hear that. I just barely heard a little humming noise. We have a standby LED light blinking and a power light blinking. Let's see if we have anything on our monitor here. So you go into your settings and then scroll down to camera. Open your camera and then you will hit connected cameras. It says UBC camera. So we will click on that and then it will load this camera up. In the settings, you'll be able to adjust your brightness, your contrast, your sharpness, and your saturation. Okay, we've got our camera set up over there. And now we're going to look at something. I'm just going to show you on the remote if I can get it in frame. I'm actually looking at the picture back here. On the monitor that that camera is showing but anyway i think i got the remote in there you hit the menu and it will bring up your menu and that's kind of what i wanted to show you you can adjust your exposure your color your image quality now here's where you want to go in and change your whether you want to do 1080p or what you can flip it mirror it and then your format that one's pretty important depending on your 
internet speed, if you have a slow internet speed, you want to drop that down to probably 720. But uh, 1080 should be fine for most internet connections nowadays. So I'm going to leave that at the 1080. And you can do the 60 frames down to 25 frames on the 720. Well, even on the 1080, it looks like you can go 25 frames. Kind of gives you a more cinematic look, they say. But nevertheless, you can uh, menu mirror, USB mode, and style. But you can change it to normal where it's set. Or you can change it to PC and then bright. I thought it looked the best on uh, just the regular normal. That seemed to look the best to me. But you can set your PTZ up, communication, your information. It's a full high definition camera, version 1.0.2.8. It's like that uh, came out on 1024 of 2023. And of course, you can restore your default settings. Uh, languages with the remote, you'll be able to control your pan and zoom. Uh, your different options here. You can look at the remote and go over it and see what you need to change. If you'll watch the camera over there, we will pan it around. You move it where you need it. You can also go up and down. You'll see that over here on the monitor while we do that. You can get a good look at my microphone. <laughs> So there you are. That is the Tongmio 1080p PTZ camera. So if you're in the market for one, you might check this one out. It's going to be a good one. I am an Amazon associate, so any qualifying purchases that you may make through any of my Amazon links, I will receive a small commission from. Thanks for watching.